Section 5.5 Interactive Assignment Objective 2. Suppose 15 cars start at a car race. In how many ways can the top three cars finish the race? Okay, now in this case here, order matters. Okay, and since order matters, we're going to have to use permutations because we know it's asking for the top three cars. Now, since 15 cars are distinct, no one car can be chosen more than once for the top three. And the order in which the cars are chosen matters. We will count permutations to solve this problem. Now, remember that the number of arrangements of R objects chosen from N objects in which the number one, the N objects are distinct. Two, once an object is used, it cannot be repeated. And three, order is important, is given by the following formula. Okay, now if you notice here, we can see that in our problem, that the value of N is 15 because that is how much is in the race. So we know that N is equal to 15. Okay, and then we know that R is going to equal 3 because that is how many that are finishing the top three in the race. So we know that three is gonna represent that. Now, it's best to maybe start at the denominator first because 15 minus three gives us 12 factorial, which means in the numerator, when we say 15 factorial, we don't have to go all the way down to one factorial. We can stop at 12 factorial because this is 15 times 14 times 13 times 12 factorial. So we have a common factor in the numerator and in the denominator. And so therefore, we can then say that 12 factorial divided by 12 factorial is 1. So then what's left over is 15 times 14 times 13, which is 2,730. So we can say the number of different top three finishes possible for this race of 15 cars is 2,730, which is our answer that we have in my stat lab.